great class for people who want to tinker and build and do a little bit of you know, modifying. And at the same time, it's the smallest boat on the water, but it's one of the fastest boats as well. boats are small and you're up on this beach afterwards you can talk with all your buddies and talk about what worked and what didn't work and race hard on the water and rip around the buoys you know upwind these things are going 18 19 miles an hour and downwind 25 plus miles an hour so it's exciting it's a lot like racing go-karts but on the water it's kind of like nothing else in sailing because it gets really smooth and quiet a lot of boats when you go fast there's spray everywhere it gets really loud but the moth as it kind of starts to rise up, like everything just going quiet is I think the most unique part. The more people see us sailing amongst normal fleets, the more people get interested in doing it. The NACRA 17's obviously gone that way, the ACATs are, have gone that way, and people are doing fun things with lasers, putting foils on them, and I think it's, it's good for sailing. It's something to make it a little bit more interesting because it's hard to televise and get people interested in it because it's generally not a great spectator sport, so kind of more action with the foils, people crashing off the foils and, and close, fast racing. The moths are configured uh, much like an airplane with the main foil in the front and a horizontal stabilizer in the rear. And we have this uh, wand system on the front connected with uh, gearing. So as this wand moves back and forth on the surface of the water, it's connected to this flap and it regulates the ride height or the flight height above the surface of the water. Buy a moth, buy one, just do it. You won't regret it. Come down and learn in San Diego and get some good weather and some good wind and hang out with some good guys. Regardless of what the America's Cup folks do in the future, the foiling is here to stay.